Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the 11th problem and the introductory problem set in CSES. And that problem is called coin piles. So it says we have two coin piles containing A and B coins, and on each move you can either remove one coin from the left and two coins from the right, or vice versa. Our task is to efficiently find out if you can empty both the piles. So we have 10 to the 5th tests with numbers 10 to the 9th. Um, so let's see. We're going to have to figure out a way, presumably O of n or O of 1, probably O of 1. So let's see if we can find a formula. So let's start by getting rid of all this, and then let's start by figuring out what we can do. So say if we have um, something, okay, let me change the font size. Let's say we have uh, two numbers, A and B, and then let's let the number of ways we're going to do the first one. So x equals uh, take two from A and one from B. And then let's let y equal take two from B and one from A. So then we can uh, figure out how many, if it's possible or not. So maybe, okay, so obviously two from A and one from B means that x or A equals two times x plus 1 times y and b equals 2 times y plus 1 times x. We're assuming that a and b are given such that it'll work out. And then uh, what if we just solve for x and y? Because we have two variables, uh, a and b are given to us, so all we have to do is just solve for x and y. So what we can do is um, well, we can multiply a times 2. 2 times 2a equals 2 times y plus 4 times x, 4 times x, and then times x. So that means that when we subtract, 2a minus b equals three times x. So since x is an integer, for the solution to work out, 2a minus b better be a multiple of three. And similarly, 2b minus a, we just reverse the variables, equals three times y. So if 2a minus b is a, multiple, is a positive multiple of three, and 2b minus a is also a positive or non a non-negative multiple of 3, then that means that we have a working solution. So let's code this. Um, let's go back to the problem. We already have a directory, so let's make a use code template called main. And then we go down, and let's just... Okay, so we have ll... Um, t and a and b. So we take in t, which is going to be the number of ways, and then let's also create a temp. Or no, we don't need a temp since we're just importing it. And then for everything in t, we just loop through it. Uh, we take in a and b. And then if 2 times a plus or minus b uh, mod or is greater than or equal to 0 and 2 times a minus b is a multiple of 3 and uh, 2 times b minus a is greater than or equal to 0 and uh, 2 times b minus a is also a multiple of 3. Uh, then um, we see out yes, 
Otherwise, we see out. No. And then we just format it nicely. And then we, I'm not sure. Oh, to it equals equals. And then after that, we just press play. Let's grab the input. Oops, I guess we don't have should probably delete this and then now if we press play and we paste it in we get no 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 okay so is 2a minus b greater than or equal to zero so let's see we have 2 times 2 4 minus 1 is greater than or equal to zero yes and then 2 times a mod 3 yep and then 2 minus 2 is 0, so it should be 0. Um, let's just debug. Oh, oh, um, what's happening is mod just grabs the last one. It doesn't grab the entire thing, so we need to just parenthesize um, the 2b minus a bits. Yes, no, yes. Okay, so this just needs to be an LL, and then I think we're done. So let's just grab main.cpp, put it in, and it works. So that's going to be it for this episode of the introductory series. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and if you have a better solution, leave a comment down below. I might make a video on it. See ya.